What is going on? Who do we have on deck? We got we Fawn and Spoopy. Got Fawn and Spoopy. Oh man. It could have been me. <laughs> you know, I you know, I I wonder. Okay, so Fawn's gonna go duck hunt. I, there is a set at Waypoint where I saw Fawn go ages against Spoopy, and she just smoked Spoopy completely, and that was it was the most amazing thing I've seen in my life. And every time, I, I and I feel it just rotates characters, and it's oh it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty. Fawn crazy. has like. Uh, probably the deepest pockets here. I think we we tried to count Fawn's characters once. And I think we came up with like eight. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Th yeah. This is definitely gonna be a long matchup. Uh, you know, Duck Hunt is always looking to space, and then Toon Link doesn't engage half the time. Yeah. Yeah, tries to you know trying to just throw out projectiles to look for those meaningful conversions. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think the way that Fawn plays Duck Hunt, I always try, I always liken it to like setting up little obstacle courses, especially especially on small battlefield, which is where we've chosen to to start things off. I think this is one of Fawn's best stages easily. Oh yeah! Oh my God! That setup, that down throw, that down throw into the tech on platform into the can. Ooh, can almost taking it, taking Spoopy's first stock, but Spoopy gets to hang on a little bit longer. And the the goons are already doing a pretty good job of just shutting down Spoopy's projectile options, just eating the arrow. Yeah, that's something that um, Fawn does a lot with the gunman, and she almost explicitly uses it against projectiles to win trade situations. Because when it when it comes to arrows or guns, like when it comes to like you know arrows or wolf lasers or whatever. Um, the gunman can just eat it, and you're pretty much negative in certain situations. You just yeah. lose ground. But um, Spoopy taking the first stop with the forward toe. That move is like 18 frames active. It's insane. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it's low-key kind of strong for like the way it looks and the way it sounds. Yeah, it has like an Ed and Eddie sound effect. I don't it know does. why. <laughs> oh, that bounce. Ooh. All right. Bomb. Going to be giving Spoopy a second chance. And that I don't wasn't even, even think, necessary. Yeah. I don't even think Spoopy was making that back, but yeah, you have, you have to sure. make sure. You have to make sure you have to, you have to seal the stop. Yeah, no. All right. Nice use of the boomerang to keep the can away, making sure that Fawn, or that Spoopy Ooh. doesn't have to give up any space there at the left trap. I, I like Spoopy playing around Fawn's shield right there, like throwing the bomb up and just letting Fawn sit in shield and just do a mix up. I love the way that Fawn has been taking space thus far. We saw Fawn just like slowly approaching, like shooting the can one at a time and sending down the gunman. Just so good at controlling a lot of space. Yeah, and you know, it, it seems like Spoopy right now is actually playing a bit more aggressive than I usually see him play. And just trying to break Duck Hunt's zone a lot more effectively. And you see him running up with the bomb and try and trying to get past the gunman, even doing even doing some grabs here and there, right? Just because I, I think he realizes that the gunman's a big problem in this mm -hmm. matchup and, you know, getting in Fawn's face and taking that stock. Yeah, only 95% on Spoopy right now. So gonna have a pretty good opportunity to work on some extra credit. Yeah. Okay, how's Spoopy gonna recover? Yeah, you know, one thing about Toon Link, Toon Link has, uh, is very floaty, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, also weird combo weight for a lot of characters. But um, you see Spoopy using the his uh, floatiness to his advantage, but Fawn's still taking that stock, and that was a quick 30%. 40%. Yeah, yeah, bringing things to even and already back in their lead. Kind of a weird uh, situation there with the clay pigeon just kind of appearing and then exploding. I don't think Spoopy was quite ready for it. Yeah. Well, that down tilt tripping is like such a cartoon thing happening. I know. It's that big marimba sound. It's terrible. Yeah, and, and we're seeing Spoopy just stay, just stay in that zone. You know, staying within like I, I want to say like maybe two character lengths away from Duck Hunt, just so they don't have enough space to set up the gunman and try to stuff some of his projectile confirms out. Yeah, and we've seen Fawn really hasn't had the opportunity to set up many of those like obstacle courses that we see. Yeah, right. and, and yeah, and immediately once once Fawn set up the gunman, Spoopy immediately took a bomb and just started running forward. Right. <laughs> Fawn, yeah, we see Fawn like crossing over, like over top Spoopy, trying to. Ah, Fawn, what was entry? Just trying to, trying to get that space necessary. <gasps> Can not quite. But now has to deal with Duck Hunt ledge trapping. 
What a bomb! What a bomb pull! That was a very brave bomb pull in that situation. All right, getting sent off stage by the can, and the can Ooh. is going to be taking it. Yeah, and, and I feel like Spoopy, Spoopy kind of overreacted to the can in that situation. Because why wouldn't you, right? You're at the mm -hmm. you're at the edge of the blast zone. The can zooming at you, and, and I feel like Spoopy had a jump there, but I feel like he wanted to save it. But um. Yeah, I mean, good stuff by Fawn. You know what's crazy? I feel like Spoopy was kind of in control of that whole game until the last stop. Oh, absolutely. I agree. I think Fawn was able to find more opportunities to to start setting up the duck hunt things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like right there. And, and, and I feel like he wanted to go low and save the jump and save the bomb just in case he got clipped by something else. Mm -hmm. But in turn, got hit by the can instead and, and died anyway. And it's just like, yeah, dying with the jump. Feels bad. Yeah. It's like, yo, you had burst. <laughs> <laughs> Toon Link, you had burst. <laughs> Toon Link, you had burst. What's happening? Um. Start the battle. All right. Looks like we're going to be going right back to small battlefield yep, for game yeah, two. Yeah, run it back. Yeah, because I feel like Spoopy was in pretty good control. Had, had a pretty good handle of what he wanted to do. I feel like in the beginning of the game, uh, Fawn... You know, she did a lot of her her gunman setups and kind of thwarting some of the projectiles. But I feel like as the game went along, Spoopy kind of adapted to that and got a bit more aggressive. And but Fawn clutched it out in the end. Let's see if maybe Spoopy could bring it back a little bit more of what we saw in the middle of the, those middle stocks. So far right now, just kind of so far right now, just playing the projectile game, but. Yeah, as soon as Spooby gets that hit, yeah. it is it is time for the pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like once the once the gunman's off screen and he knows that there's gonna be a refresh time, he's in there immediately. Nice uh, slide in, turn around, up tilt. Okay. Oh, all right, Fawn now getting some a chance to put on some damage of their own. Great parry, but not able to find the bomb throw out of it. Yeah, just going, just going to that can, trying to get that set up. Yeah, and and I think she's realizing right now, like, may I think she's staggering the gunman a, a little bit, a little bit differently, right? Because I, because I, I feel like Spoopy's kind of getting used to the rhythm of the gunman and when she's gonna put him out. Mm -hmm. Late up air, not gonna be finding it just yet. On with another chance at life, once again up air, not taking it. Yeah, reading the jump, and I feel like if just one of those were forward airs, that's the stock, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. See, so an Eddie forward tilt? No. What was that? It's the lingering explosion of the clay pigeon. One of the most annoying things in this game. <laughs> Get hit by, like, the the dust. The, the dust of the frisbee. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, good, good on, good on Spoopy. Keeping out the pressure, staying in that mid-range area, just trying to react to what, whatever Fawn does. Caught the rolling, and now, now I don't even. What happened? How, how did, how did Fawn get forty-one percent on there? It was, I think, it was a Z drop bomb into down air into up smash. Yeah, you're better than me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, Fawn getting that confirmed clay pigeon in the back air, um, and now you know Swoopy's still in the lead. Still has a lot of momentum going for him. Yeah, Fawn keeping things competitive, but getting caught by their own can right now. Have, has to deal with uh, with Toon Link ledge trapping. Anti air up tilt, putting Fawn back up top. Still able to find with the residual explosion of the bomb. Now Fawn potentially getting some ledge trapping of her own. Yeah, and, and I feel like Spoopy is really focusing on the bomb because out of all the projectiles, um, I think the bomb just kills the gunman in one hit, right? Yeah. Out of, out of all the projectiles. So I feel like Spoopy is specifically pulling out the bombs first, or throwing the bombs first, just in case Fawn does um, throw out the gunman. And wow, Ooh. wow, wow, that Z draw? Yeah, to catch the can, too, is what did Fawn in. And I, I think Arrow might kill Gunman at, like, higher charges, but, mm. like, who wants to who wants to charge a whole Arrow? Yeah, yeah we're, we're not doing that. Gunman's going to be gone by the time it's ready. We, we use explosives, okay? Ooh. Oh, well, that was that been some disgusting. Explosives. Okay. Oh, we'll try to get that, try to get the second clay page in. Now we're seeing, I think we're seeing Fawn play with uh, some more aggression right now. I mean, some aggressive ledge trapping. 
Ooh, got that up air at a hit stun, and that's three up airs. Trying to go oh, for a drag down. Oh, that could have been an up at a shield, right? Actually, how fast is Tooling's up here? I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. But right now, um, Spoopy in control. Just keeping up the pressure. What a walk-in. Oh. A great can angle, too, to catch the tether recovery. Yeah, good tether. Yeah, Spoopy just trying to wait out that can at the ledge. Yeah, and well-timed by Fawn. And um, yeah, now 93% uh, to zero. You know, Fawn has a lot of room to make up, especially how Spoopy's playing right now. I feel like he's not taking a lot of chances in the spots that she wants him to. Ooh, just barely not able to get the bomb into forward air. Yeah, just just staying on the other side of the stage, just like, yeah, I'm winning. Oh! A great patience by Spoopy on the ledge. Not getting up too quickly. The gunman corpse ate the boomerang. Yeah, I, I think one thing to watch out for is if you're Spoopy, right? Like, yeah, you have the lead, and yeah, Fawn has to come to you. But, like, I, I feel like the, 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 the threat of you being in the mid-range got you this lead, right? Now you're standing on the other side of the other side of the stage, just holding bomb. And now Fawn can set up all of her traps. And a missed and, tech. Yeah, and so, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's one thing to play the lead. But going away from what got you that big lead, I feel like kind of just took him out of the game, right? Like... Spoopy was up 94% to zero. Yeah. And all he did was stand at the ledge with the bomb and was just like, okay, you know what? I have the lead. You have to do stuff to me. And Fawn was like, oh, okay, cool. I could do my regular setups. Yeah. <laughs> no more. You're, you're, not, you're not putting on pressure on me in the mid range? Oh, yeah. Why not? And then uh, SBGs. Yeah. The, 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 I, I don't know if it was just me, but like that, that last stage bike, I, I don't know where the hell Spoopy went. It was it just... Was he teleported. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, um, you know, good stuff on Fawn clutching out both games, actually, because mm -hmm. Spoopy was in control of both of these games. So that was not um, a small feat. Um, Absolutely. But...